The world of technology that we live in can sometimes feel like a near constant assault of numbers and metrics, only ever increasing with every new app and technological development. Data can feel cold and robotic, even though it's describing the very organic and real world that we live in. In this class, my aim is to bring the organic beauty back into data by showing you how to illustrate it with your own unique expression. My name is Carrie, and I am a mixed media artist and a data analyst living in sunny Southern California. When I'm doing art, I like to paint watercolor portraits of either people or nature. And when I tire of trying to portray the exact right expression or hair placement, I turn to abstract art where I can explore and play. In my day job as a data analyst, I help nonprofits set up data systems so that they can understand their programs better and understand the impact that they're having in their community. A big part of my work is visualizing data to communicate key information. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking bar charts and line graphs when I say data visualization, because they're tried and tested tools. We're so accustomed to them that it's hard to imagine any other way to illustrate data. But in this class, I want you to think beyond the bar chart. Together, we'll begin developing some creative and fun ways to illustrate data. We'll use a set of objects around your house as our subject, like a record collection or a collection of mugs you've got laying around. I'll teach you some data basics, like how to assign attributes and scales to your collection and how to collect data on them. You'll learn how to use mood boarding to gather inspiration and we'll study existing abstract art to get ideas. I'll teach you some various techniques to apply visual components to data scales, and then we'll sketch our ideas to land on a set of visualizations that you resonate with and that define your collection. We will craft them and paint them and place them on a canvas to reveal a finished piece of abstract art. You don't need to be an artist or a data professional to take this class. All of the skills that you learn can be applied to many different scenarios where you'll be required to conceptualize and design information. Uh, data professionals might find it especially interesting, however, as it'll require them to think outside of the industry tools that they become so accustomed to. And it'll set a roadmap for more inspired work. Now with that, come join me in this class. I can't wait to get started.